two, ready for the run towards the S's. And uh, I call it the uh, number 47 of Esmond Williams up there in first place. And then we go, uh, Chris Huddleston's up there as well. He's, uh, he's finding out in there in second place. So uh, we have lo lost our uh, whole man, Sean White. So I wonder if he's gone to the 250 production class and uh, withdrawn from the from the action here in the 150 Super Sport class. As his bikes uh, didn't seem to be up there on the grid. So uh, here we go. We are racing down the centre straight. Esmond Williams on the uh, highest sung 250. He is out in front. Then Chris uh, Huddleston there in second place. Oliver Stoot there uh, looks to be the update for third place. And uh, they head into Higgins. So a massive eight lapper for these guys. These guys will be uh, enjoying this. And uh, not a championship class in our series, but a great uh, 17 strong field here at uh, round four at Manfield. So uh, we watch uh, with uh, excitement down the back straight. And it is uh, Esmond Williams in front of this one. Chris Huddleston there in third place. We see a, uh, another one of those 152 stroke. Uh, Machines, the FXR 150 come up in the inside of there, so that's a great little battle for third and fourth they've got going on there as we uh, watch them crossing the line. Yeah, it's great to see a strong field because this is generally a uh, South Island class. I know Alistair Hugenbusen runs number 43 on his bike, even on his super bike. He said, Where'd you get that number? And he said, When he bought that bike as first bucket, uh, a development bike of uh, Pete Jones, it had the number 43, and that was the 43rd bike that Peter Jones. Uh, had uh, built so a hugely strong class down south. Other parts of the country uh, they have the bucket racing track. Of course, you can do the bucket racing slower sort of stuff on the Ruapuna track. So this is where it's strong down here, and great to see the strength of it up here, and great to see a support class like that come to New Zealand Superbike Championships. Hopefully, we've got them next weekend. I'm pretty sure we have. There, Brad Ritchie. Yeah, brilliant stuff from 150 Supersport. It's been called a number of things over the past uh, Supersport. Well, 150 is where they've uh, headed to now. They've been to junior development or Super 150 development in the past. And uh, here we go, the line uh, when they crossed it was Esmond Williams, Oliver Stoot there in second place, Paul Ellis in third. Chris Huddleston was in fourth place when they crossed the line, but he's been uh, relegated back into fifth place there. So uh, a great uh, ride all around here. So uh, we see this brilliant ride from Esmond Williams. He's out in front of this one. And then uh, Oliver Stute now, who's uh, back in third place, but reeling in Paul in the uh, the battle with a four-stroke against the two-stroke there down the back straight with uh, Oliver there and uh, just sneaking up the inside and getting back second place. So uh, this is a great little battle to keep our eyes on. So this uh, front three is uh, definitely not uh, splitting up there. This is going to be a great race and uh, still a massive six laps to go when they cross the line. Good class too. You've got uh, some of these bikes are eligible for other sort of class. You've got the bucket racing out there. The, uh, the bucket racers out there, they can go into the Formula 4, Formula 5 class. You've got that uh, higher sung out the front, which is eligible for 250 production, and also eligible for the 250 uh, uh, higher sung cup, or the higher sung cup 250 class, and the Kawasaki Ninjas, which are suitable for the 250 production as well. So great to see it. A little bit confusing for me seeing that bike out in the front in Kawasaki Green, but I've got it in my head now that it is generally definitely a, a, a higher sung 250. Still got a couple of races left. We've got the Pro Twins coming up. That's always hotly contested, a 125 GP, where we may see our first New Zealand Superbike Championship uh, uh, awarded to uh, an Australian there, uh, to anyone this, this season, but we might see one uh, uh, awarded there. Depends on the reliability and the finishing order. OK, a change of position from the lead there. Esmond Williams there goes back into second place, and that's got to be Oliver Stute goes there into first. Paul Ellis there on 57 there in third place. Fastest lap at 132, uh, 31.562. Yes, he's flying, uh, Paul Ellis there. I think that might be him up in the lead there. I think it's the two four strokes in with the two stroke, and it looks like uh, Paul might have snuck up into the lead. So we'll have to catch an update. We can't quite see them. They're in down the back straight and heading up behind the barriers and out of our sight. So uh, it looks to be the, uh, the 57 Paul Ellis there in first place with uh, Esmond Williams, Oliver Stute. They are a couple of uh, 250 uh, four stroke machines. Oliver. Uh, he is on a uh, Suzuki, and uh, it looks like uh, oh, it looks like Kawasaki, and then uh, looks like uh, Esmond there on the high sung. So that's been a full uh, change around, and uh, we catch the update there, having a look uh, into the right hand at turn one, and there's nothing in it at the moment, but uh, it is the update with Paul Ellis, and then Oliver Stute and uh, Esmond Williams, earlier race leader, now relegated back to third place. So a great little three-way fight here for the podium spider. Yeah, quickest on the track, 131.467 for Paul Ellis here, 131.934 for Oliver Stewart, 132.537 for Esmond Williams, as we've still got five laps to go.
And uh, difference two, the uh, lead bike doesn't have any sort of fairing where the next two bikes have got uh, some sort of fairing. In fact, has that second bike got a fairing on it? Indeed it has. And same with the third. So uh, breaking the wind out in the front with no fairing is Paul Ellis there. That's an interesting name. We had a guy, sidecar guy, Paul Ellis, come out here back in the 90s from Australia. Took one of the barmaids, Wong Liu Mariner, over in Australia. So uh, Paul Ellis out there doing it in the front uh, on the 57 machine. Oliver Stewart, Esmond Williams. This is as of the last lap. Richard Elderington, Alulia Goddard, our first of our ladies, Jason Truman, Isaac Markham Barrett, Craig Bardell, Nick Hall, Alex Horvath, uh, Ian Jackson, Tim Hall, Matthew Burrell, Chris uh, Huddleston, as the uh, 14 bikes out on the track with Sean White for some reason entered but uh, DNF, he was the fastest qualifier. So he's not on the track now, uh, so it's tightened things up. And uh, right now they come onto the front straight with uh, when the past the start finish straight, there'll be four laps to go, so they're halfway through their race. This is an eight lapper, we've got a 12 lapper and a 12 lapper coming up for the two round uh, final races of the Superbike Championships. Don't forget, next weekend is the final round at Taupo for the New Zealand Superbike Championships 2019. And in the weekend after, you can come back here to Manfield for the Bears Northern Thunder, uh, Central Thunder, sorry. They have the Sound of Thunder down south, and the Bears Central Thunder is going to be run by the uh, Victoria Motorcycle Club. Look at that, big dive up there on the inside by uh, Esmond Williams going there in the, uh, into second place there, coming up into turn three. So is that something going on with... Uh, uh, Oliver Stewart's bike, is there something going on there? He seems to have set up, he's slowing a little bit there, but uh, meanwhile, Paul Ellis, as they come out of the hip and down the centre straight, stronger and stronger, getting away, no, it's that third bike, Oliver Stewart, is uh, now reeling in the second bike, Esmond Williams, so uh, reels him in with comfort uh, down that centre straight, but uh, Esmond Williams comes back into the braking zone and uh, goes ahead by a couple of bike lengths as we see the beautiful footage from CTAS, Grant Collingwood up on the top. Change of position again. It is Stuart goes back in ahead of uh, Esmond Williams down about a third of the way of the back straight there. So, uh, and really in first place now. So, uh, Ollie Stuart, whatever went on going through the infield there, that's all in the uh, in the history books now. That's all behind them now. He's starting to reel in first place, Paul Ellis. So, a 131-2, a 131-9 for the, those two guys in the last lap, but this is definitely closing off. We had a gap of 1.1, it's now 0.656, so uh, 33024, 33.6 uh, for second and first, so definitely a change, and a 32.916 for Esmond Williams, so wow, it's tightened up. Often these uh, races spread out, but it's definitely tightened up there, Brad Ritchie, yes, as we've got three brilliant. laps to go. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Paul Ellis, he's uh, not gonna have it all his own way the last three laps of this one, so, uh, We've got to number 57 on our time, but I think it's the number 37 on his bike. We can see we uh, have to catch the update there, but uh, we see him going into the left-hander, and uh, there's Ollie Stute. So he just doesn't quite have this uh, centre of the track dialed out as Esmond Williams is going to try and uh, sneak up the inside of him. But uh, last time around, that uh, Ollie Stute uh, Kawasaki had the legs down the centre straight here at uh, Manfield. But... Uh, this is great uh, stuff from Paul Ellis. He's uh, headed off in the distance down the straight. Uh, another uh, update there with Richard uh, Ellington. He's in uh, fourth place. Olivia Goddard there in fifth. So uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Jason Truman and Isaac Mark and Barron, six and seven. Nick Hall, Craig Bardell there in uh, ninth. Alex Horvat in tenth. And Ian Jackson, eleventh with uh, Tim Hall and uh, Matthew Burrell and Chris Huddleston uh, there with a, uh, I think he might have uh, pulled off to the side because he was uh, up in third or fourth place uh, earlier in the moto. Uh, might have just had a bit of a bike uh, problem there along the line but uh, around the final corner they go the race leader is Paul Ellis then go back to uh, Oliver Stute there in uh, second place with uh, Esmond Williams in third place so there we go two laps to go as they cross the line Interesting to see Olivia Goddard and Jason Truman back in there in fifth and sixth put in their fastest laps of the race everyone else has had their fastest laps earlier on but right now out in the front a 31.557 for Paul Ellis. He's got 1.2 seconds ahead of uh, Oliver Stewart. 32.160, 32.968 for Esmond Williams there in third place. Esmond sponsored by Green Apple Designs, Kiwi Bike Insurance, Switched Electrical, uh, Ultra uh, Nitron Ultra Scan, Pirelli RST, EBC, and HFR. Uh, Richard Elderington uh, sponsored by Lazu, a life at the max.
exciting racing this Super Sport 150 is not always has been uh, and it's great to have the New Zealand Superbike Championship Brad Ritchie yeah absolutely this is brilliant stuff to see and uh, just look at that uh, awesome CTAS footage of the uh, home built 152 stroke machine the full bucket racer out in front of this one so absolutely brilliant and uh, like Smite have touched on uh, earlier normally a South Island dominated uh, fraternity but this is great numbers to get uh, in the central North Island of New Zealand so uh, absolutely a joy to watch now in that back straight, Paul Ellis, and now uh, with uh, Oliver Stewart in second place and Esmond Williams there in third. So uh, there's battles all around, though. The battle for fourth, uh, it's a lonely ride there for uh, Richard, but uh, Olivia and uh, Jason there, fifth and sixth. That's a great little battle. They're heading into Higgins at the moment. So uh, white flag ready and waiting, and look at that cloud uh, coming over. Swatter. That'll cool the track temperature down quite nicely for these uh, guys as they uh, come around. White flag out, so one lap to go. Paul Ellis will take the white flag. And uh, Oliver Stute still there in second place. And Esmond Williams, earlier race leader, now relegated back to third. Excuse me. Listening to looking out for fourth place is number two, Richard Elrington. Uh, he should be coming on to the front straight now. And Olivia Goddard all the way up from Dunedin. Had an interesting crash at uh, Hepburn with Rapuna last year. She'd come back in and she'd almost lost the last four inches of her ponytail as her leathers grounded away. In fact, they had to cut it off because it was about four strands of hair. So it was one of those races that the injury was actually funny at the time. Uh, great to see the Goddard family uh, uh, hitting the North Island. Another round of the New Zealand Superbike Championship this week, next weekend, of course, and we'll see that in Taupo. So uh, right now, Esmond Williams, the fastest lap then uh, for his race, 132.280, but uh, slower than Oliver Stute, 132.076 in the last lap, and 131.546. So Paul Ellis just getting faster and faster, although his quickest lap was 131.280. White flag out, this is the final lap uh, of the final race for the Super Sport 150s. We've got Pro Twins coming up, and we've got the 125 Grand Prix and Super Light, uh, Super Light B coming up as well uh, after that. And then uh, hopefully we uh, get through. I see Monique, the uh, steward of the course, uh, yawning in there. She must be getting worn out, done a great job this weekend. There we go, coming out of turn seven, checkered flag ready and waiting. Paul Ellis is uh, screaming out of turn seven down the front straight. He's uh, done enough, neat and tidy. There, the number 37 on his bike, uh, Paul Ellis, will take uh, the win for the 150 Super Sport. Then we go back to uh, Oliver Stute there, second place, and Esmond Williams rounding out our podium in third place. So uh, a great result for well, those three guys and some great racing. I'm catching the update there. We're just waiting for uh, Richard uh, Aldington. He's uh, sitting there in fourth. He will uh, come through and uh, cross the line there. That's a good fourth place there. And then uh, looking for this uh, good battle with Olivia Gonar, the race supplies, uh, 250 there. And then go back to uh, Jason Truman in sixth place. Another uh, update there in seventh place, Isaac Mark and Barrett on the Speed Junkie uh, iTools uh, bike. Just uh, he's heading down the back straight at the moment. So uh, looking for the update there as we uh, have a look around turn seven out of the Go Media corner, so a good uh, start from Isaac Mark and Barrett on the uh, My Tools Speed Junkie entry. And uh, we uh, full credit to Paul Ellis on the uh, 150cc two-stroke home-built machine out there and uh, doing it. So brilliant stuff from 150 Super Sport Action, and we will cross down to uh, Neil, who will uh, have our awesome podium with Paul Ellis, Oliver Stute, and uh, Esmond Williams, 250 uh, a couple of 250s in there with the 150. Brilliant stuff. And uh, yeah, like Spider said, we've got two races to go. So uh, Pro Twin, 8 Lapper, and then the Super Lights and the 150, 250 Mono. Uh, they're uh, 12 Lappers, sorry. So it's 12 Lappers for the Pro Twin and a 12 Lapper for the 125 GP 250 Mono and the Super Light class in there as well. So uh, a couple of 12 lap races coming up uh, just in a little bit time.
Well, an opportunity for our uh, podium for our Super Sport 150, and unfortunately the first two riders must have got so excited about their victory they've missed the podium, but uh, Esmond's uh, back again. Uh, first of all, Edmund, you're loving Manfield today, aren't you? Yeah, it's um, one of my favourite tracks um, in New Zealand, so yeah, absolutely love it. Yeah. All right, uh, Taupo next weekend. What, what is your affection to Taupo? Um, oh, I like it. It's um, still need to work on a few things to get cracked there, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, what do you do during the week? Um, I'm a sparky and a butcher, so... What? Yeah. Say that again? A sparky and a butcher. During the week? You'll yep. do both jobs? Yep. Uh, butcher on the weekend, but yeah. yeah. Oh, well, so have you, you qualified in both of those? Yep. Wicked track. What a good combo. Yeah. yeah. So you can you can electrocute the animal, and then you then you can cut it up? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not, eh? That is a wicked combination. I haven't heard of anybody doing that. How old are you? Uh, 27. Oh, well done. Congratulations.